So this is your, your exit and this is your main collecting yard here? Yeah, so this, this collecting, this is the main collecting yard. Um, it holds at peak 700 cows. Right. And we have two exit races then. We have one, one coming down and one going across the top of the feed pad as well. So how many in each herd have you? Uh, so we are running four herds this past summer. So the first herd is 680. Uh, second herd is about 680. Um, our third herd is once a day herd of about 50 to 70. And then we have a penicillin herd of about five to about 25, 30, okay. depending on time of year. How do you clean the yard here? Uh, the canyons, the water canyons here behind us. Okay. These. Yeah. Something you'd see commonly in New Zealand, I suppose. Yeah, very, very much New Zealand based, yeah. Yeah. So high, a lot of water coming out in the Serious short space time. pressure, yeah. 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 We only, we wash the whole, I suppose we wash the yards fully in the mornings the whole way down. And in the afternoons we'll only use the top, there's five canyons all the way down. We'll only use the top canyon in the mornings. Okay. Just, you know, or in the evenings, I should say, just to, I suppose, you know, Keep an eye on water usage. Yes, which is obviously big here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. is that coming from a well or are you recycling water? We've or? got our own well. No, we did discuss recycling water when we started, but we didn't decide to go down that route. Right. So we have a borehole in the field in front of the parlour there. Okay. So what time do cows come in here in the morning, say? Uh, so cups on our, is 5 a.m. in the morning. So the herdsman will go for cows at probably any time, depending where they are, between four and, and quarter past four. And in the afternoons then cups on at two o'clock. Right. And is it one shift milking then? Uh, yes, in the summer it's it's one just two teams and um, each team does a shift each. Right. So as we go in here it's a rotary you built obviously. Yeah. It's a white cattle. Yeah. In since twelve, I think, is it? Two thousand and twelve. Yeah, that's right, yeah. How many units have you? Uh, seventy bell. Yeah. And when it was installed, I suppose in maybe subsequent years you put more technology on it. Yeah. So what have you put on it and maybe why did you put it on? Uh, so we've put on I suppose Affy Farm, um, which is is basically more I suppose more high input technology in, in, in one regard. But um, I suppose here because of a large farm and, and, and so many staff, um, it's just making the I suppose the cow management a lot easier. So um, with Affy Farms, I suppose the cows are weighed boat milkings. Um, there's codes that come up for health checks. So for example, a code four will crop up on each keypad um, and, and you start off stripping the cow for mastitis. If she, if she doesn't have mastitis, you'll draft her out, take her temperature, you know, find what's actually wrong with her. So um, I suppose for the staff that aren't extremely skilled or learning, it's quite a, a, you know, a useful tool to have to, 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 to back them up. Like. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. So have you milk meters on it? Uh, we do, yeah, yeah. It does tell us the yield and whatnot, yeah. Okay. And is it fat and protein as well, is that right? It does, yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, can you draft your cows from here? We, can, we can't do it from the keypad. We, we can do it from the, from the, from the computer over and, and offer phone and an app as well, yeah. Okay. So when you're a cups on, have you won a, won a cups on? Uh, so depending on the time of the year. So I suppose we're, we're spring calving units, so therefore it's a 10-week block, so it's heavy going in the spring and, and, and the autumn towards dry off. So we always have four in here. So we have one person here on this mat, um, I suppose pre-spraying and stripping. And then the next mat would be uh, dry, you know, dry wiping. Yeah. and the next mat would be cupping up. So three, three people on this side and one person that cups off teeth spraying okay. um, in the autumn and, and the spring. Are you doing any pre-spray with the... No, no, no it's not, all no. after milking. It's milking. all after milking, yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Office and that consumables here? To be, it's more storeroom now. Storeroom yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's the storeroom now. Gloves yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good. So your dairy here, as such here then, your Yeah, this is just a uh, plant wash, hot water heater, um, yeah. your milk filters and whatnot, yeah, clay okay. cooler. Auto wash? Yes, auto wash, yeah. Yeah, useful to have it? Yeah, very useful, yeah. Okay. yeah. Saves time? Yeah, massively, yeah. So cups off, I suppose, here, um, Breffney. Again, an important part to the farm, or the, the rotary. Yeah. A lot of functions happen here. Yeah, so um, you've got your AI bridge, your vet bridge, which flips down. Yeah. So that's quite an important bit of kit there for it breeding. Yes. Um, and even vaccinating cows and whatnot. So that just flips down. You're the same height as the, as the cows as, as they're rotating around. Um, and then we've got a person that cups off for teeth spraying. Um, even though we have the automated teeth sprayers, we, with, with some of our crossbred cows, they're, uh, we find they're a bit short, I suppose, in the, in the bales, yeah. that they stand too far forward. Yeah. So we do have a person that cups off their um, spraying. Okay. Yeah. And what else have we got here then? So basically, we've just got our foot trimming facilities, um, you know, basically just, you know, spray, 
tape for cows, just all kind of, yeah, yeah, on okay. my head. And, and, and your sink or whatever. And sink and whatnot, yeah, okay. whiteboard for the pennies. So just to go to the exit area here, so. Yeah, so basically this is the exit race. So the cows are weighed on, I suppose, through Affy Farm um, as they exit the parlor every day, twice a day. So we can monitor whether they're gaining or losing condition, which is actually a massive tool here nowadays um, for management. Um, and we've two kind of exit races. So you've one going down to your right and then just swing the gate at the end of the crush yeah. and the top to your left. Okay. So two main exits. So when you said about the weighing, how, you know, say, over what period of time is it giving you a signal? Is it, is it if it's dropping radically over a week or what, or is it? Um, it's it's daily really. Yeah. Um, you know, you can get all the information there on a daily basis. Yeah. 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 And you're getting a, an alert back to your phone or back to your computer in the uh, office. Back to the computer in the office. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. do have to search for, to be honest, but um, but we do we do we do keep good tabs on it. Yeah. And the weigh system is a walk on. You don't have to stop. We, no, we just walk as you're walking over. It's weighing them. Yeah. Okay. And what make a uh, weigh bridge is that? Uh, that came as With part of Affy Farm. Okay, yeah. I don't know what make that is actually. And the drafting gate itself, is it? The what drafting make gate itself is actually a sabre gate okay. because we did have sabre originally. So that yeah. is actually a, a sabre drafting gate, yeah. Okay, so over here then, what, what's working in this area here then? Say Basically, then? sort of a New Zealand, um, I suppose when we designed the place initially, that was a New Zealand, I suppose, you know, uh, herringbone race for yeah, AIing, yeah. Um, which we which we don't use at the minute, but there is a cr the crush is used regularly, all right, in it, and the foot trimming crush. Okay. Um, but that's what it is, the AI race slash crush. Okay, so this exit race back here then is primarily used for what? The herd one, so the mature cows. So yeah. your mature, your third lactation plus are in herd one. So herd one is are always going G block the top exit, yeah. And her two, your first and second lactation cows are going down here. Okay. This exit. Yeah. So you mentioned you don't use that handling area as much. What What do you use instead? We are using um, for AIing, I suppose. We're using the handling area over here now. Um, so basically, this was put in. Um, 19 2020 20. yeah um and this is what we used the first year on an out farm actually when we had the the heifers to AI the very first year so this works extremely well so basically you bring in you know you can easily get 350 um you know r2s in here heifers yeah um for scanning you know for AIing whatever like um so basically how it works that you bring in your heifers and as you're going forward you're grouping your heifers okay so literally and we've single ai stations up there stalls right there's 12 12 single stalls up there okay yeah so i suppose like you, you've less reliance on this area out here that you were showing because you're doing more of the functions on the rotary itself would that be we are say? exactly yeah. yeah the vet bridge is where it all happens more yeah. or less yeah yeah okay yeah. Yeah. yeah which a lot of farms wouldn't be used to but you yeah. made well use good use of that system exactly yeah yeah, yeah. fair enough yeah so is all your water in the farm and the dairy ran from here? Yes. So this all is your paddocks and everything? Basically, uh, yeah. So there's, there's, uh, there's actually four pumps in here. The two, two bigger pumps are for washing down the yards and the parlor, collecting yard and that. And the two smaller pumps over here are for the 160, 170, um, 500 gallon water troughs in the farm, yeah. Right, so water is obviously a huge water is huge here, yeah, yeah, and it's been pumped big distances. That's right, yeah. Okay, yeah. So your 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 devices then on top then are they all controlling the variable speed or what? Uh, yeah, they're all, they're on average they're probably all about six six and a half bar. Yeah, but they're yeah it's more or less variable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. So minerals, are you using minerals in the water? Yeah, we have the LMS system, yeah. Um, yeah. Seems to be working very well actually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's been in since the start as well. Okay. And then your dairy chemicals over there as well. So you have two milk tanks? Yeah, two, two 30,000 litre silos, yeah. And so how do you run that? Do you so I suppose, look, at, we're only using one at the minute, but at peak milk, um, if we're sending out you know, anywhere from 36,000 to 40,000 litres um, at peak, then we'd, pro we'd put morning milky into one, silo one, yeah. and evening milky into silo two. Okay, yeah. yeah. How often is the milk collected? Uh, every night, night collection. So okay. every night is collected. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Briefly, I suppose, in all my years coming here with Sense, uh, what I've always noticed is the high quality of finish in terms of materials. Like, you know, looking at the quality stone here, there's a new entrance here, but the level of detail when it comes to landscaping, it's all high across the farm. Yeah, I suppose, you know, one of the key, I suppose, key traits and part of the portfolio here at Sense is that everything is done exceptionally well and to a high quality standard. Um, everything across the board, 
um, in terms of you know the farm, every other business involved across the estate as well. So um, fair play to, to James and Orsa and to I suppose everyone you know the staff that work here as well. We all take huge pride I suppose in in the place we're working and, and, and look after it. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose when it is finished well, people are more likely to keep it that way. Yeah, I suppose, look, it is a lot easier centers. to keep concrete like this, you know, clean and keep on top of it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, in terms of getting people here to work here, you know, you're, you're obviously looking, there's times of the year when you need help. Yeah. And you're always happy to hear from people who might want to come here and do work experience or, yeah, or work I, here for a longer period. I'm very open. I'm probably more open now than ever, actually. You know, we, we've got a... We're about what three three miles out of Shrewsbury town on average. Um, so basically, you know, there's a great nightlife there. There's um, you know, it's a beautiful area. People are lovely. Um, there's plenty of accommodation here, um, and you learn an awful lot here. And and I would I would definitely take students all year round. Yeah. Okay. So this year is one example. How many students did you have? From uh, Ireland? this year I had three over. I suppose over the space of what four months. Okay. And they were all from UCD. Were all, they? all UCD students. Yeah. Okay. Super super lads. Yeah. Okay. So what what did they actually do here, or what were you able to expose them um, to? So I suppose the first two lads, uh, Paul and Owen, were here for calving. So they started the first week of February, and they finished mid-April, and uh, and they would have seen the whole, the, the herd calve really the whole the, the tight block calving down. Um, they would have been exposed to, the, you know, both heifer, rear, you know, the heifer rearing yard and the beef rearing yard, um, the calving shed, milking, grassland management, fencing, temporary fencing, um, you know, pretty much as much as possible, really. Okay. Yeah. So you, they were probably here for what two, three, four months, but you'd equally take people for twelve months I'd as well. I'd equally if... take people for twelve months. Yes. Yeah. Hundred okay. percent. Yeah. yeah. Briefly, how does someone contact you then? If uh, basically, you can either go on the Sansaw website or you can uh, email us at info at sansaw.co.uk. Or you can also in, you know, email myself, brefney.daily at sansaw.co.uk. And so, so where we're situated here, we're close to Manchester. Is that the nearest airport in Birmingham? Or yeah, I suppose Birmingham is, an, is about an hour's drive from here, Birmingham Airport. Manchester is about an hour and a half, an hour and 40. Um, yeah, so we're, we're actually very, very, the ferry, you know, Hollyhead, uh, about two, you know, two hour drive we go a long ways, you know, two yeah. and a half from okay. Hollyhead um, to here. Like, so it, it's distance is, is pretty, it's very central really, yeah. Yeah, and again, I suppose you mentioned earlier, the scale that's here, it's no different to what you'd see in New Zealand. So like one or two hours from home, yeah. you get the scale, you get the experience that you would otherwise get in New Zealand. Yeah. So it's, it's all here on our doorstep. It is, Ireland. it really yeah. is, yeah. It's large, you know, there's not, there's quite a few, there's lots of, you know, there's lots of companies and businesses now with lots and lots of cows, but I suppose our unique, I suppose, selling point really is the fact that we've got, you know, 1,500 cows and expanding um, on the one making, making platform, going through the one shed like. Which, um, which I suppose is what New Zealand offers to, to students as well. Yeah, very good. And it's on their door. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, well, look, thanks for your time here today. Yeah, no problem. And it was, uh, it's great to see and get a good view of the farm again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thank perfect. You. Thank you. Thanks very much.